Something doesn't feel right. Look behind you. Oh man, look behind you. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. Do you want to turn it on? No, we do not. Oh man, jump scare. Who was that? She's right in front of you. That didn't get me, like, because I knew. I knew there was something that didn't get me as much as it could have. She's right in front of you. Run. Keep searching the basement. Let's keep searching. That's that. Nothing bad could happen. We're going to find Potato. Potato must be lurking down here. You move your hands along the wall blindly. The smell down here is revolting. Your nostrils flare with each inhale. Your eyes can make out two directions to explore. The smell seems to be coming from the room on the left. Uh, search the rooms on the left. Let's go for the smell. The smells are never bad. Stench. Okay, I was I was prepared for smell, not stench. The stench is stronger in this room. Small echoes make this room feel enormous. You can't see the eyes. But you can, but feel, you can them. feel them. That's not a small echo. Here's a small echo. Maybe a bit too much. You're being watched. Uh, feel along the wall for a light. Get to the room's center or run. I'm going to uh, feel along the wall for a, the light. How are you doing, Chaser, as well? It's good to see you. You, you feel along the wall for a light. Your hand start, slides across stump, something wet and sticky. This is actually messing me up a bit. I'm going to turn that off. It's too much for my, my poor ears. Never run. Never run. You feel something round and hard. Oh. Hey! Don't grab my head like that! Why are you covered in blood? Oh, what? Gross! You feel the gentle push of a chumpette. Let's get out of here! Okay, so we chose a, maybe the wrong direction as well. Great attempt! You found three of oh, you found three of us. You were rude to Raspberry, but that's okay. Your ranking, your ranking is B. B as in bummer. Maybe you can be a better person next time. That would go a long way. Oh no, no, what was his? That would go a long way in reuniting all of us. Yeah, guess we're not moving on. It really seems you have some things to work on. We have a special surprise for you. Go to the bed and lie down. Sweet dreams. Oh god, what's this ending gonna be? <laughs> B is in bread, even better. B is in bananas. B a n a n a s. I'm gonna die. Hold on. Let me um. Let me let me die off camera quickly. Sorry, still getting over this cold. Oh, I've got this uh this over my thing. Why did I um why is that still there? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of my game HUD. We don't need that. Um that was that was specifically for a different game. You agree of Cornish? Why? You don't want Cabbage's secret bedtime surprise. I mean I do. I wanna I wanna see what the uh, bedtime surprise is. I think cabbage is pretty cute. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you going to cook dinner or not? You've been staring into space for a few minutes. Dinner? We're not picky. That's not true. I'll literally eat anything at this point. That's not true either. What? <laughs> What's her for? Every time. Uh, what are you cooking tonight? You tell her. It's your speciality. Cabbage rolls. Cabbage? That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. You take some meat out of the pantry. What's the meat? This meat is severely rancid. You could smell it before the drawer was even open. Everyone's noses are sniffling. You gag as you put it down. What? What the bloody heck is that? It smells disgusting! You, you sure that's safe for human consumption? This smells familiar! Why would you serve that to us? Oh, uh, maybe it's aged to perfection. You know I'm not, uh, into meat. You grab your knife. You sear the meat on both sides, trying to get the edges, but fumbling a little. 
Next up is chopping the cabbage. Thanks for Abby adding some vegetables. That's not helping much. This meat is starting to smell bitter. The meat was done cooking. <laughs> Everyone begins to salivate. Hurry up and finish the cabbage rolls. She looks, she looks like she's gonna eat people. I cannot wait anymore. You can see Karen's knife out of the corner of her dress. Give it to me. And now. Karen gets ready to bury the knife into you. You wake in a cold sweat. Wake up, sleepyhead. I don't want to get killed by Karen. What? Wait, hold on, we're in bed with Karen? I didn't think, I didn't realize we were, uh, we were dating. We got an achievement, wake up. You were having a nightmare. I haven't seen, so who's in the door? Someone's in the doorway. I haven't seen someone fresh in their sleep like that. You must be pretty hungry after all that exploring. Want one last treat? Your voice is going, Virtue. You are going to lose your voice. Don't worry. I won't tell the others. I found dead mouse in one of the cupboards. And I want you to, to have it. Oh, she's, that's a present for my family. How is that for a big breakfast? You remember the old proverb, right? Appetite comes with the eating. Why does she st stick her tongue out? She's winking a lot as well. She's, she's big into the winking. Don't worry. It gets easier after your first one. It's decaying a little, but it's still fresh enough to devour. <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, hey Jack, welcome, how are you doing? Now on Kickstarter, ends October the 31st, 2020. Just search Cooking Companions. Indeed, Blindside told you to join. Well, thank you, Blindside. Blindside's a heckin' legend. It's good to see you as well, Jack. Big breakfast. I mean, like, eating a, uh, eating a mouse? Are we, are we a snake? Are we part snake? So, I want to go back. I want to, um... I want to continue. Well, uh, achievement unlocked. Thanks for playing. Excellent. That got you. It didn't get me too much, to be honest. But I, I still, uh, it's because I'm prepared mentally for this kind of thing at the moment. I'm, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, I'm not going to get scared by video games mood. I'm prepared. I'm fully prepared for, uh, for that. Did you want a better ending? Uh, let me try to get another ending instead, or yes. Yes. Jump scare mode activated. What? What do you mean jump scare mode activated? Welcome to jump scare mode. This mode is mostly just for fun, but maybe there's something interesting at the end. You will have five seconds to make a decision. Don't answer incorrectly. Oh my god. Cabbage in the background. Can you hear that? Oh, cabbage is gone. Everything feels a little different. Hello! Did you sleep well? That's a miracle given the storm. I have the perfect idea for a rainy day. A quiz show! Here's how it works. Get the answers correct, or something bad might happen. We'll have one question per room until we reach the basement. Good luck! Okay, jump scare mode initiated. Hopefully mini games. Well, that's cool. That's interesting. Let the games begin! All four chumpets jump on your back. We'll be whispering the questions in your ear. <laughs> so don't mess it up. Oh, P potato is lurking around. First question. How many chompets are there? Uh, uh the, the, that one. That's correct. Yay. Hey, Odd Socks. Welcome. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Feel free to use the page up to go back if you want to see the new content. Otherwise, you'll have to reach the end. I'll reach the end. Um, if if 
like we fail entirely then let me know how we can get to uh the the content that we want to get to don't forget to say no when it asks if you wish to continue at the prompt to the start um what do you mean okay uh, oh um which prompt i know that when i started it asked me about like whether or not i was an adult um oh no, no no it was like something about children i can't remember it's like you know are you, are you it's not suitable for children and do you want to continue and i said no to that and then it, it it started telling me something i was just like i don't think i should start the game with this i don't think that's the best way to do this um so i will come back to that i did know that was a thing that's for correct what's our next question uh karen's gone Next question! What was Karen whittling? A uh, knife. That's correct! Child's play. Let's check out the bedroom. When it asked if you... Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that was the uh, the one that I did say no to. We will try that because it said about a comedy show. And I was just like, I don't think this is the best way to start the game. Like, I, fi I figure I should probably play the main game and then go back to it. So we will try that. Karen isn't in here either. Next question. What is the species? Is that onion? What is the species name for a house mouse? Uh, um, ba ba ba. That's wrong. Oh no! Potato! Was that a potato or an onion? This game is purely fictitious. It cannot harm you in any way, shape, or form. Ah, oh, it happened. Karen isn't in here either. Next, next question. What is the species name for a house mouse? Uh, that one? That's correct! You made it so far already! You earned a prize. I can't, uh, maybe the text here needs a background because I can't read Onion's name very easily. A trip to the basement. The basement, oh dear. Well, I, I forgot a Red's voice. Uh, well, top of the stairs already. <laughs> so, uh, 3,000 years ago, which country invented bread? Uh, Rome. Oh, no! There's nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life. Ma? Wow! Top of the stairs already. <laughs> so, uh, 3,000 years ago, which country invented bread? Egypt. Correct. Wow. On a roll today. My turn. Let's keep going. That's all right. It's only like a small thing, dear dream. It's just, um, I just couldn't work out which, which, uh, which person was talking. Almost there. Back to where it all began. <laughs> Feeling old yet? Old. Ooh, I got a good one. How old is the Earth? Uh, 6,000 years old. Everyone knows that. <laughs> oh, jump scared. I whispered your name, but the wind of the night took your voice away. You need to change the onion color. Yeah, it's all... Oh, sorry, I missed that. I'm, I'm, my bad. Almost there. Back to where it all began. <laughs> Feeling old yet? Old? Ooh, I got a good one. How old is the Earth? 4.5 billion? Yay! Oh. Yay! That's correct. Give or take 50 million years, the Earth is 4.543 billion years old. Wow! How do you know that, Raspberry? Plenty of research cabbage. Awesome! We're almost to the room! Let's keep going! You navigate the labyrinth of the basement. I'm not actually, I'm not like a young Earth believer. That would be funny. You're nearing the door. Almost to the room! You know! Cabbage whispers in your ear. The others will never forgive you. But as leader of the Chompettes, I feel like I have to. Even if everything was terrible, sometimes a leader needs to look past that. 
It'd be so boring if we didn't talk to each other, right? Does that make any sense? Probably not. That's why we brought you here again. To talk with Potato and jog that memory of yours. Wow, Potato, you scary. Yep. She's upset again. Can't blame her, though. She would have been a great addition to the Chompettes. One last question, Cabbage. Pardon me. Yes. You only have three seconds to answer this one. Wouldn't want her to catch you. Last question. Where are we right now? Um, Bunny's Alps. Oh, God. Oh, God. You aren't Potato. Who are you? Uh, masterful Muffin Maker. You're so confused about what's going on right now. Um, well, we are in a cabin in the woods in a visual novel that's a horror. Um, and we're, we've got, like, these little personified vegetables and bread and fruit and stuff that are, like telling us what to do and this is this is the jump scare mode so it's, it's it's this isn't like the main story mode this is something else some additional content that we've been given from playing the game but getting the bad ending so now i guess we're trying for the good ending i think last question where are we right now uh wallace alps wrong last question where are we right now uh tatras mountains Happy you know where you've been all these years. That's correct. It's time to talk to Potato. We'll be right outside where you work things out. Uh, what? I've not met Potato yet. I've seen Potato look at... Oh my god, so cute. What's Potato's voice? Had to walk away? Don't apologize. Made it to the end. Well done. Extremely deep. How deep can we go, though? I don't know if um, I don't know if I can get. Made, made it to the end. Well done. But playing games with the Chompettes wouldn't expect you to be so accommodating. Feeling a little guilty, eh? I know it's been a while. You probably don't remember what happened, correct? Of course you don't. Happened a long time ago. I cornered the four in this basement room. And all of us ended up dead. Cabbage. Onion. Raspberry. Bread. They're still afraid to enter this room. Too traumatized to come to grips with it. Can you understand what I'm saying, by the way? I mean, I'm just... I don't know how this voice is really... Like, you know... You know what I mean, right? Like, when you can't really hear what's... Uh, like, understand what someone's saying. You, you get it? Like, because there's too much effect. Um, are we still good? I guess there's, there's text on screen. You know what's going on. You have 3.3k to go so you can join the club. Which club? Uh, very exclusive. Left plenty of clues, but some questions are unanswered, like appetizer, not the full meal. I agree, Deirdre, but, like, I still, I now understand. I now understand the whole, uh, what, how this game is a horror, and I like it. It's really fun. It's really cute, but it's really silly. Um, you know, and I, I, I want to see what the main game actually brings in terms of horror, because obviously it's going to be a, a different creeping dread kind of horror horror that I'm here for. I want to know what the radio is about. Why do you think Cabbage wanted you to play so many games with her? She wanted you to remember what happened here. And now? And now you're talking to a potato. <laughs> and obviously you're not remembering anything. Well, since you've made it this far, I feel like you've earned something. You've earned... The cabbage rolls. Dig in. Yay, we want some cabbage rolls. They do exist. 
Sorry to interrupt you, but thank you for playing the Cooking Companions Appetizer Edition. Follow us on Twitter at Daydream Studio for updates and previews. See you again, same time next year. Well played, Cooking Companions. Well played, Daydream Studios. Did you want a better ending? Um, let's go back to title screen. Are you sure you want to return to it? Yep, that's fine. New game. Do you wish to... This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? No. Let's find out. Pardon me. Welcome to the third annual Chompette Comedy Competition. This is, uh, Vivos and Spookies is 10 out of 10s. Dear Dream, this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to play this game and why I've been, like, harassing you on, uh, make it, sa make it save. Okay, fair enough. How do I do that? Um, but why I've been harassing you on, um, Twitter is because whenever you talk about horror games, I'm just like, Dear Dream Studios has good taste in horror games. Um, so I'm, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Subnautica was next level. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Could always play Subnautica again and seek out all the Leviathans. Muffin Maker. I think that we're going to play Below Zero. Not during October. But as soon as the game has its uh, full release, then I'm all up on it. I'll, I will be absolutely there. Not harassment. Hey, I've been DMing you a lot. Being like, tell me. Tell me about the game. How's it horror? Let me know. I've been like, whenever a, 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 an interesting horror visual novel comes up, I'm on it. I, I like... I like a good horror visual novel. Um, I'm your hostess with the mostest, Cabbage. Today we'll be hearing from a bunch of talented comedians. Cabbage. All aiming for that amazing title, Comedian of the Chompettes. Woo! Here's how the rules work. Each comedian is given two minutes to make you laugh. Oh, the Chompette with the most votes at the end wins. First up, she'll always help you out in a jam. It's Raspberry! Raspberry! <laughs> Thanks, Cabbage. Went to the doctor last week for my annual physical. Got a referral to a dermatologist to get one of my droplets checked out. She wasn't sure if the seed inside was fine or if it was something more serious. Dermatolo dermatologist looks at it for a few minutes. Tells me to put some cream on it. What is this? A parfait? Uh, Badum tiss. Come on, Doc. Said it was very serious. So I put the appointment. Had a lot of mixed up emotions swirling inside of me. Like a parfait. You know what a parfait is, right, folks? Anyway. Had a friend over to break the news to. She came over, had a sharp look on her face. Told her how the news was getting me a little sad. You're one blueberry right now, she said. And she was right. And even though I was worried about being squished in a surgery, at least I wasn't being squished going into a parfait. That's my time! Thank you, everybody! Woo! Give it up for Raspberry! Up next, he's bringing the Funyun! It's Onion! Woo! Everyone, cheers, Onion! Thank you. You all are too kind. Seriously. My grandmother was an amazing woman, but during holidays, her comedy was on another level. Dice the onions? What is this? A casino? But that's the way grandmother rolled, folks. Could make the whole room laugh with her comebacks. One time, a family friend came over. For dinner, right? And he said to my grandmother, Onions are the only food that makes you cry. Outrageous, right? She threw a coconut at him! <laughs> God... God damn it. God is food to go that night, folks! But seriously, no one mess with grandmother. One time, we caught her eating a can of beans and some onions. Beans and onions? Can you believe it? Grandmother, why are you eating beans and onions? She winked at us. Beans and onions. 
making tear gas for the war effort right now. Leave me alone, kids. My time is up. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Hey, Maui. Welcome. Uh, who's home and in quarantine? You're quarantined. Damn, really? I hope you're okay. It's good to see you, though, Maury. I hope everything's as good as it can be. I hope that's like quarantine, but not being, you know, like not sick quarantine. You know what I mean? You're just getting to the end of your quarantine. It sucks. I bet, Canary. I bet. But I'm glad it's almost over. One of the people that I work with just came back from France. He's quarantined for two weeks. And it's just like, it sucks. Give it up for Onion! Making us cry with those jokes! But throw him in some butter! Guaranteed you'll see him sweat! Up next, the original carb of comedy! Ooh, cool! It's bread! D -d 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 thank you, thank you, Cabbage. Uh, so, uh, uh... I think this is one of Combred's jokes. Uh, what's up, Bread's favorite genre of music? Do you give up? It's, uh... Uh, is is rock and roll? Woo! Well done. Is rock and roll? That's the roll, like the bread. You you do you get it? It's yeah. fun funny. Is is get it? Tough tough crowd. Not very savvy on them bread bread references. Bread, bread. I I'm, you guys get it right? <laughs> Poor bread. Bread's dying on stage here. I, <coughs> I have a yeast infection. What's Potato's voice? What? D d d d thank you. For bread. Please, please cap for bread. Ooh Hope you've been having fun today, everyone. You're the best audience on Earth! As leader of the Chumpets, I'll be going last! <clears throat> People are always asking me, Cabbage, do you know how famous you are? They named a soup after you! <laughs> Woo, Cabbage, you're funny! Uh, what the f*** is happening, Mori? <laughs> cabbage soup! Mostly water, but it'll get the job done! <laughs> My sister Lettuce once put some meat and vegetables in her stomach. Said she was a burrito. I said, Lettuce, that's a wrap. Called her Lettuce Wrap for the next five years. <laughs> Love science? You ever heard of Cole's Law? <laughs> Cole's Law states any leftover cabbage must be mixed with mayonnaise. Bam! Another one. Lastly, what do you call a cabbage's murder? Slaughter. That's my set. Judges, please vote for the Chompeb with the best comedy set. Who should win? Uh, Potato was the one that didn't deliver one. I feel bad for... I feel bad for Bread. I think Onion delivered the best comedy, though. I'm going Onion. Onion. Thanks. Thank you for voting. Let me count up the votes. We have a winner, folks. The winner of the third annual Chompet Comedy Competition is... Onion! Come on up and say a few words, Onion! This is for you, Grandmother! Thank you for keeping the family together after Rezeo disappeared. Reze... Rez... Rezeo? I'm sure she would be proud, Onion. If she was still alive... Is she still alive, Onion? Onion. No. Passed away years ago. Woo! Well... That does it for the third annual Chompet Comedy Competition. Say goodbye, Onion. Goodbye, Onion. Um, let me go know if you want the basement solution so you can get the best ending. Was that not the best ending when we played uh, Jump Scare Mode? Shall we do that? Let's just do that. Let's go straight. This, this game is not suitable for children or those that are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue the real game or listen to the comedy show again? Uh, I want to play the real game. Let's do the real game. Why didn't you pick that the first time then? Because I wanted to see the comedy show. That's just some additional lore. Okay, let's do it. But I'm going to um, I'm gonna try and rush through this, if that's okay. Um, <laughs> I say that, but I think this is different dialogue. I hate to say it, but you really outdid yourself with that stew. 
The seasoning was superb. I d oh no, we have done this. So let's uh, let's skip through to uh, you know if you if you aren't familiar, this is the first playthrough that we did. So if you look through the vod, um, the first actual playthrough that we did to the end is is getting to this point. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip. I think oh, okay. There's a uh, there's an auto mode. So can I? Oh, I'm in manual mode again. So what? An exception has occurred. While well, running game code, uh, name cabbage comedy is not defined. Is this a genuine thing or is this game messing with me? Scripting error. Okay, I see. I see. I thought, uh, attempts to roll back to a prior time, allowing you to save or choose a different choice. Let's roll back. Oh no. Oh no. Whoops. Scripting error. This dialogue is skipped if it's not coming from the comedy club. Start a new game. Roll back. But you broke the game. So, title screen? New game. Do you wish to continue? Yes. So, should we... Um, I can't believe I broke the game this this early. Hate to say it, but... You, okay, let's uh, let's skip through this. So, like I said, if you're, if you're familiar with all of this, then... If you're not familiar with all of this, then go to the beginning of the VOD and check that out, because... Um, we're just trying to get to the point where we can get to the the, the good ending, um, and we we've, we've done all this. So he spoke to the red-haired woman, who is uh, who is French, and uh, that's canon, by the way. Dear Dream Studios, I'm sorry to uh, sorry to take this character away from you, but we we uh, we we changed we changed her. She's French now. You can whistle me anything you want. Take your time. Okay, so that's fine. We start. We make her blush. Then we say that would be a waste of your talents. She's all like blah blah blah. And then we unlocked her thing. Thankfully, then... Oh, crap. He, you hear some rustling around. So let's actually find Cabbage. Found her. We solved it. Um, I... Rip, indeed. Whee! You found me! Well done! As the leader of the Trumpets, I'm joining you, and that's all good and stuff. What's next, Cabbage? Focusing on the mission ahead. So, uh, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna find another Trumpet. Radio. The radio's doing weird things where it starts making... Okay, the radio's making noise at the moment. Get to the basement key with cabbage. Be nice to robbery, raspberry. We will do that. So now we're talking to this guy. Uh, we tell him what the title is. We don't want to be mean to him. If he can't read, then why would you be? Why would you be like, oh, can't you read? Just do the thing. You know what I mean? So um, the he is inside the nightstand. I think. There we go. He is here. Don't be cry, baby. It's just me. I'm onion. Woohoo! And then we move on. So, the onion roasts us for a little while for being smelly. Uh, crap. Was that, uh, you might have found another error. Sorry. That's okay. That's disgusting. What's wrong with you? We, uh, okay, so we did blood, but he still joined our party, so that's fine. Uh, then we just keep going. Three trumpets left, and now we, this radio starts telling us numbers for some reason. And that's, okay. Explore the living room. And then... This guy talks to us. Um, I see him as being the Brock-like character, and I'm I'm on board with this. So then we talk to him. Then we get bread. Um, clearly, the bread will be under the couch. Oh no, no, no! It's inside the mouse hole. So let's go there. Basement maze solutions. Left center abyss. East. Use the key on the door. I will try and remember that. Um, so found me. And then we uh, we have the bread. The bread does the uh, the maths th thing to us, and we. We failed last time, but he came with us even if we got the wrong thing, which is cool. Uh, gotta go, but thank you for playing. Leave a review if you enjoyed. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Check out the uh, the Steam page. This game's also on Kickstarter. Dear Dream Studios is really cool. We've been chatting for a while, and I'm a fan of this game. I am definitely like I've been paying attention for it for a while. I like I like horrors. I like visual novels, so this works for me. You know what? That's correct. Cabbage, onion. Oh no, cabbage, onion. Get in here. Yes, bread. They could do math. I'm joining the group. Bread has joined the party. That's wonderful. Glad to have you on board, Bread. Anytime. Oh, anytime. Let's go find Raspberry. I think I heard her. I think I heard her over the, by the basement door. Perfect. Trumpets, mosey out. I love it. So cute. You have three trumpets in your party. We do indeed. Two more to go. And then we got the the broadcast. Do the numbers mean anything? Probably not. Um, I disagree. The numbers probably do mean something. So she asked about the deadbolt. We uh, 
She just leaves. We don't really get to ask her a question or anything like that. She's here. The birds outside turn silent. You could hear a pin drop. You can almost hear her breathing. You feel the sudden urge to scream. You can't sneak up on me. Don't ever try that again. The raspberry is super cute. Oh, we gotta. Okay, let's let's actually play now because we gotta we gotta make friends with raspberry. Surprise! Found you, Raspberry! Oh, wow. It's very nice to see you, Cabbage. We wouldn't leave you behind, Raspberry. <laughs> Honest. We need your help finding Potato. Our combined trumpet detective skills say he's in the basement. Oh, yeah? Do you have the basement key? Uh... No, we do not. Oh well. Bummer. It's unlocked already, so that's good news at least. Potato? I don't get why you want to find him, but I'll come with you. Raspberry has joined the party. One more to go. Let's go! That door does look like it could be kicked in easily, but would we want to kick in the creepy door? It started raining again outside. You feel a knot in the pit of your stomach. It's just a scared staircase. Not a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. So this is where we got before and we ended up with a bad ending. The sound of dripping water echoes up the staircase. Is this... Water from the floods? I've played Visage, Justy Bar. When the next update comes out for Visage, though, I will play it. How are you doing? It looks like a mis mixture of dirt and soot. Soot? <laughs> Not soot. Something is approaching. Um, okay, so we haven't got to the maze yet, right? Basement maze solutions, left center, abyss, east, use the key in the door. Okay, keep going. Super crazy. You grit your teeth and keep going. But let me tell you, we're playing a horror game right now and it involves cute little vegetables. The sound of rain has completely stopped down here. Your vision is fading too. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You think you can hear something faintly. Someone's knocking from the top of the stairs. You ignore the distraction, but you've lost track of time down here. Your radio turns on. The strange radio seems to be connecting with something from beyond. You're experiencing some serious deja vu. You decide to continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Look behind you. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. Okay, thank you game for doing that to me again. She's right in front of you. Uh, keep searching the basement. I'm pretty sure that's what we should do first. Potato must be lurking down here. I need to make sure I've got the, because uh, the, the devs gave, because we've done this already. So we have the uh, the solution from the dev to actually finish this this time. Um, but there's also, we've we played other things. This game has like six endings and there's also all this additional content for like a little demo for a, um, like to tease a visual novel that's in Kickstarter. Like it's been really cool. It's been really, like a lot of work's gone into it and a lot of work's gone into, you know, having all these different branching paths and stuff. It's cool, it's cool, I like it. Potato must be lurking down here. You move your hands along the wall blindly. The smell down here is revolting. Your nostrils flare with each inhale. Your eyes can make out two directions to explore. The smell seems to be coming from the room on the left. Let's go search the room on the left. This time, I think we died going to the left, but I think that we're actually equipped to go to the left now. The stench is stronger in this room. Small echoes make this room feel enormous. You, you, you can't, uh, <laughs> can't see the eyes, but you can feel them. You're being watched. So now we go to the center of the room. 
Hey, um, and all, oh, you're asking Miller how he is, but I'm also good as well. I'm, I'm answering that question. How are you, Justy Bar? Did you tell me? I think you did. I can't remember now. I'm, I'm like, I'm so lost in visual novel land. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, get to the room center. You're having your wisdom teeth removed. Oh my god, that is kind of scary. I, um, I hope that goes well, dude. You tap your foot along the ground blindly until you reach the center. I see you. Oh god. You almost trip down the stairs. It feels like the spiral staircase descends deeper underground. Go deeper into the abyss? Uh, yes, we go into the abyss. You wind down the staircase until you reach the bottom. Your shoes stick to the floor when you touch down on the floor. Hmm? The smell of mildew and something rotten makes you gag. <sighs> You can barely You can barely make out the outlines of the door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? Um we go east. East. Your hands run across a large door. It's locked. Look around for the key. You search around blindly, but can't find anything. A cabbage. Looks like we reached a dead end. That's okay. Let's go up back upstairs. You, it, we had to use the key on the door, but we didn't have a key. Wow! You found four of us. That's pretty darn close to five. We can't move on without Potato, though. After everything that's happened, it just wouldn't feel right. Even if he wasn't one of the original group, we still need him here. Completely disagree. Raspberry's right. Let Potato sit in the basement. He's got company down there. Hmm. That's enough. <laughs> Your ranking is A. A is in awe inspiring. Well done. To celebrate, we've made your bed. Sweet dreams. Uh, okay. Uh, BRB luck. No worries. Thank you for hanging out. Are you going to cook dinner or not? You've been staring into space for a few minutes. Dinner? We're not picky. That's not true. I'll literally eat anything at this point. That's not true either. What are you cooking tonight? You tell her. It's your speciality, cabbage rolls. That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. You take some meat out of the pantry. The meat's wrong, isn't it? It's severely rancid. So we're going to skip through this because we've done this before. So the the meat is really bad. We uh, we do the cabbage and then hurry up. She goes crazy. She's like, you know, she looks like she's going to bury the knife in us. And then we wake up sleepyhead. So she's with us. You were having a nightmare. Uh, okay, so I think and she wants to go to dead mouse. And then that happens. So I think that I didn't get the correct ending, but I was get I didn't get a key. So what's wrong here? I still didn't get the good ending. That's interesting. I um did you want a better ending? Yes. No, because that's the that's the the additional ending, right? If I go yes, then that becomes jump scare mode. Wow.